Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and I am going to be working in Walt Disney World this summer, which I still can't believe I'm saying. Um, it's been a dream of mine for so long and it's finally come true. So if you don't know me or you're wondering how someone from the UK can work over in Orlando, um, I'm doing a programme called the Cultural Exchange Programme, which is something that Disney runs for international university students to spend their summer living and working in Florida, which is super cool. Um, from the UK, we apply through a company called Yummy Jobs. They handle our applications and the first interviews, and then we get passed on to Disney. And this application process is so long. Um, it's actually been over eight months from start to finish, from when they opened to when we found out. Um, and I knew that I wanted to make a video about it, so I thought the best way to do that would be to essentially film my entire journey from start to finish because I mean I didn't know it was going to be this long it's like the longest it's ever been but I knew that I wouldn't remember everything so I have literally got clips from way back in April last year and every email we got every different stage every update I filmed a little clip and I put them all together this video is going to be very very long so I'm going to put timestamps in like make chapters in the video so if you do want to skip to a certain stage feel free or if you just want to watch along. Um, I've quite enjoyed looking back at the clips already because it's just funny to see myself going through this whole journey, very stressed. Um, but we obviously got there in the end. I'm super happy and I really hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find it helpful and yeah, enjoy. Hello, this is a little bit awkward because I'm on the train and I'm speaking in public, but I was not prepared to be making this video today. Um, it is the 28th of May. It wasn't it was the 28th of April, so even earlier than I was saying it was. And I'm on the train on my way home for the bank holiday weekend with my family. I checked the Yummy Jobs website just literally half an hour ago on the bus before I got on the train. And um, the cultural exchange programme applications have opened. They have not even announced this on Instagram or Facebook or anything yet. I've literally just checked the website and they're on there, so... Sorry I got interrupted by tickets, but um, I'm freaking out. I am... I wanted to be able to apply on the day that the applications opened, but I have not finished my cover letter yet, so I'm just working on that now on the train and hopefully I can get my application in as soon as possible. It is now Friday the 12th of May, so exactly two weeks from when applications opened and I think I'm ready to apply. Um, I have wanted to do this programme for about six years now, which is a crazy long time. And while I was like planning how I would do this, I always said that I would apply as soon as the applications opened and I know I mentioned that in the last clip that you would have seen as well but because of them opening at a completely different time to when I thought they would I just thought it would be better to take some time to perfect my application because it was not ready um, and that's what I've kind of done these last two weeks and I think I've been putting it off for a couple of days really but it's time I need to do it now it's ready um, so I'm going to upload everything to the website to the application form. So for anyone who's wanting to apply in future years, the application form might change, but this is what is on mine. So they ask for a resume and a cover note, and then they ask for your first name, last name, email, phone numbers, and then there's a few yes or no quite simple questions. So are you available to take part in the full programme from June to August 2024, or whatever year it will be for you? Um, are you currently a student enrolled in an accredited degree issuing college or university studying full time? Does your CV clearly state the following information? Course of study, dates of study and university attended. So just make sure that your CV does. Have you completed one full semester of your current course at the time of application? So for us UK applicants, that means that you have to apply for the summer after your second year, because otherwise you haven't completed a semester at the time that you're applying. By September 2023, you will need to possess a valid passport that expires no sooner than October 2024. Confirm this is true. So this question changed from when the application opened. So it originally said you have a passport that expires no sooner than October 2024, which freaked me out because I don't. My passport is expiring this year. Um, but now they've changed it. So it means that you can get a new passport in time for the interviews, which are hopefully taking place in September. That's what it says on the website. So that's quite good for me because now I don't have to lie on my application. Um, and that's it. You just have to then consent to the fact that your data is going to be processed and you're all set to go.
big, big news. So today is the 30th of June, the day of the deadline for applications, uh, which is at 5 p.m. Then this morning, about 11, Yummy Jobs posted on Instagram that they have extended the deadline to the 28th of July. So the CEP group chat, which is amazing by the way, join the Facebook group if you're applying for the CEP because everyone in there is so lovely. We're all chatting loads. We were really excited for the deadline and then potentially finding out in the next week but now no one knows what's going on. We don't know what this means for interviews, we don't know what this means in terms of whether they've got enough applications or what but it looks like we might be waiting for another month before we hear anything. Another update, it is still the 30th of June but the website has now been amended for the new dates. So. Online interviews for pre-screens, which were meant to be taking place in July, or originally it just said July, it's now July and August. But the big change is that final interviews, which were originally set in place for September, the website is now saying December. So this process has just got a lot longer, apparently. Um, but I've been waiting for two months already, so what is an extra few months on top of that? Oh, it's just so nerve-wracking knowing that we really have no clue when we're going to find out anything and it's just getting pushed further back. But I'm still super excited and hopeful. So yeah, it's just part of the process, I guess. It's been a very different timeline this year to any previous year, so that's probably why they're playing around with the dates a little bit. The group chat has just started going crazy. It is Monday the 3rd of July and people have started getting free screen interviews. Uh, in their emails so I'm waiting on mine hopefully fingers crossed that I get one through but yeah I'm just waiting only a few people have got them so far but it seems like they're coming out today I got an interview I got a pre-screen interview for the cultural exchange program oh my god I'm so excited let me let me get it off my laptop so I can fully show you what everything says oh my god I'm freaking out didn't even read it didn't even read the email I just saw congratulations and I'm getting it up so I can actually you can see me read through all the information as I understand it for the first time. Because why am I going crazy for this is just a pre-screen? Imagine if I get onto the programme. Okay, so here is what the pre-screen interview email says. I've got to watch a video presentation, schedule my interview, and then I'll find out by the end of August. And final interviews are in London and Edinburgh, which is quite useful for people who are a bit further away or northern. Just for context, these are the dates that we've been offered for interviews. So there's actually seven days to choose from, but then if you select one, for example, if I go for the 18th, oh, all the times will come up on the side and there's plenty to choose from. Okay, it is the 17th of July and today is my pre-screen interview. Um, it's starting in like 10 minutes. I'm just wearing this like blouse and then I've got my castle necklace on just as like a tiny hint of Disney but I'm sitting downstairs because there's a window right in front of me so I wanted good lighting like my bedroom doesn't have anywhere in front of the window that I can sit with the laptop so yeah I'm just waiting to get on the zoom call I'm a bit nervous but I've kind of practiced everything that I could say I don't want to practice too much so that everything sounds like orchestrated or like oh hello that's my cat <laughs> I don't want to practice my answers too much because I don't want them to sound like they haven't been natural because they are what I would naturally say but obviously I've done a little bit of a rehearsal to how I would answer anything but yeah I'm gonna log on to the call in probably about five minutes so then I'm a few minutes early and then I'll let you know how it goes afterwards hopefully I'll remember every question so I can tell you everything I got asked okay I just had my interview uh, I think it went well it was like just under 15 minutes. Um, it kind of like the beginning, it started like a minute late and then it's ended at 11.59. So probably like 13 minutes. Um, started with just like, she asked me if I'd watched the video presentation that you saw in that email. And then I said yes. And she was like, do you have any questions? And I was like, I think I was fine with it. It's nothing unexpected in there. So then she just moved on to asking me a little bit about myself and why I wanted to do the program. So I spoke a bit about me in general and like what I do at uni. And then I went into talking about why I wanted to do the program. Um, then, oh my God, it went so quickly. I'm forgetting everything that happened. Uh, she asked me if I'd be okay sharing a room. She asked me if I'd be okay working long hours. 
um, what my biggest challenge would be on the program. I think she asked me that before those other two questions, but yeah. Um, she asked, I'm trying to think now. Oh, lighting's going weird. Um, I'm struggling to remember questions in order. The last question that she asked me was about um, what my favourite Disney character was, which is like a nice little one. Um, and I feel like there wasn't really anything else. I got asked if I had any questions, so maybe come up with a question that you want to ask in that. Um, but yeah, other than that, she was very friendly. It went really well. We were like laughing a little bit. I don't know if she was laughing at me. I'm just, um, but yeah, she said, we'll find out. Interviews are continuing until mid-August, so I'm assuming that's for the people who are applying with the new deadline. And then we'll find out by the end of August, she said, if I haven't heard back by the first week of September, to just send an email and they'll chase it up because we should hear whether it's a yes or a no. Um, I was thinking, should I ask how many people get through? But um, I didn't want to ask that in case it sounded like, I don't know, I didn't want it to sound bad. Um, but then if you want to ask that, I'm sure there's no issue with it. Um, but yeah, it it actually went very quickly. Like, people in the group chat have kind of been saying, like, oh, my interview went really well, so quick, can't remember any of it. And I was like, how can you not remember? And I'm literally sitting here a minute after my interview ended and I can't remember half of it. Um, but yeah, hopefully it went well. I just, I think I'm just going to have to put it to the back of my mind from now because waiting until the end of August like a month and a half I can't I can't be stressing that whole time um so yeah at least that's out of the way I can relax for the rest of the summer if I can um and yeah um also other people in the oh, this lighting is going very strange other people in the chat said that they got asked like what their like whether they had like a weakness or like a challenging time at work like an example um and I didn't get asked that, so that was quite good. And I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got asked like what my role preferences were. But she was, it was like, do you have an issue with any of the roles? And I was like, no, I would do anything. And then she was like, do you have a preference? And I said, merch or custodial, just because of the fact that they're a lot more guest interaction based. So yeah, um, didn't get asked like, does my experience help me in any way? Like, I think I just kind of brought things into the answers. So maybe it just depends on how you answer. <clears throat> I'm oh, glad my voice didn't go in the interview. Um, maybe it just depends on how you answer things as to how many questions you get. But I thought it was going to be over really quickly because I was speaking so fast. But it actually went the full amount of time. So, yeah, I am pretty happy with that. And we'll just have to wait and find out. I'll probably get back to you at the end of August with a yes or a no. Hello, it is the... Oh, what is the date today? It's the 21st of August, a Monday and final interview emails have just come out it's like 20 to 7 and they started coming out um also i'm aware i look a little bit like lord farquhar right now i had my hair cut last week and it's a bit too short so it's like flicking up at the end um but yeah i got a final interview which is really exciting basically all the email said is that we're being passed on to disney at this point so the email was from yummy jobs and then I'm walking home from work by the way which is why I'm just like outside and it's kind of stressful because there's all this like admin stuff I need to do and I'm not at home but anyway I'll be home soon um so yeah the email was from yummy jobs and it was basically saying soon we'll receive an email from Disney and we have to put in a load of information like um our CV and cover letter again our student status um and then we'll receive confirmation of that or something <laughs> sorry there's a lot to remember sorry i got very out of breath walking up a hill um but yeah the interviews are going to start in the week commencing the 4th of december but at the moment we haven't been given dates for those because they'll come out once we've completed some of that information and then before the interview we have to complete like a role ranking um i've just watched back the footage from yesterday so today's the 22nd um and I don't know what happened there. Um, I think because the group chat was going crazy and I was filming on my phone, it just, the whole video went a bit crackly. So I hope you get the idea of what I was saying. I'm gonna st still put that in the video because it's like, it was in the moment and it's kind of the best summary of everything that was going on. But yeah. 
Right, I am at the top of a fire tower at Reading Festival and it is the 24th of August and the Disney email came through yesterday on the 23rd. I can't really do anything about that now because I do not have the signal or really the time because I'm working at the festival. Um, but luckily I think the deadline is the 7th of September to put in all the info so I'm going to do it as soon as I get back really. It is the 3rd of September and I'm in my uni house now. Um, and I've finally got around to doing the application for the Disney part of the whole process of the application, if that makes sense. Um, I've basically just not had the time since coming back from Reading. I've just been working all week and then, yeah, just got around to it now. So let me show you what my screen looks like. So it's essentially like applying for a new job. Um... But we've been reassured that, you know, we're not um, having to, like, be accepted through this again. It's literally just making sure that Disney have the same details as us. Um, I'm going to make an account and then show you what the main page looks like. Right, I've made my account and hopefully it will just take 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I've got my CV and my cover letter prepared. Um, I updated my CV with my new work experience and then I'm just keeping the same cover letter as my Yummy Jobs application so other than that I'm not sure what else comes up in this but I'll let you know. So I've done my job history and my education history, put my CV and cover note on there and then this is quite an interesting question. So what were the reasons that were important to your decision to apply? Okay, so that is all sent off and I'm going to go to bed because I'm very tired, but I'm so glad that that is out of the way. I've been stressing about finishing that because I was like, imagine the reason that I don't get onto the programme is because I just didn't get time to fill out the form. But it didn't take any time at all. It was honestly like, it was about 10 to 15 minutes in total. Um, the longest part was just the job history bit where you have to like put where you worked and everything. And it was, I basically just copied it over from my CV, like the most recent five jobs you've had so yeah that was a bit that took the longest on the application but everything else is very straightforward um so i'll just see if i get any further communication from there so it is the 11th of september and this afternoon evening ish um emails started coming out from disney since we put the application through for us to be able to choose our interview slot and rank our role preferences um, for our year, anyone who was having their interviews in Edinburgh, they all got their emails first, then London. I'm not sure about those who were having Amsterdam interviews, but um, the first email to come out was the role ranking and then the interview slot. Um, with the interview slot, everyone has to attend the same presentation and get there at 8.30am. So when I went on, because I was out for dinner with a friend when my email came through, um, I've just gone on now and booked mine but the earliest slots are all gone because I'm guessing people knew that if you're getting there in the morning anyway you might as well get your interview out of the way and then go so um I've managed to get mine between one and two in the afternoon so um the presentation starts at 9am I'm assuming it'll be about an hour because the first interview slot was 10 30 from what I saw before and from when other people have been able to book theirs so yeah, I'd imagine that's about an hour and then like half an hour before the first interview start, maybe something like that. So hopefully I won't be waiting for too long. It'll be cool to just be in Disney HQ anyway and maybe explore a little bit if I'm allowed to. Um, and just take a bit of time to chill before the interview. But that's way ahead in December. So now it's just waiting, to be honest. I think this is the last point that we'll have. Although we haven't been asked to submit our student status forms or our passport information yet. So um I think that might be after we've booked the interview that we get docs and then we have to put that in but I haven't ranked my role preferences yet so I'll see you once I do that. Okay I should have checked my new emails because I have got the docs email which is where we put our passport and student status form in so yeah that is the next stage. Also with the role ranking um there are more roles to rank than what we've been told we can do so the four roles that are at the top of the list are roles that apparently are offered to every um 
international participant from wherever they're coming from. So that's merchandise, lifeguarding, quick service food and beverage and attractions. And then there's a list underneath that's like, you might not be offered these. Custodial is one of those, and that's one that Yummy Jobs has listed. But there's also stuff like character attendant, character performer, um, housekeeping. So we're able to rank them. I'm going to rank them because just in case, I don't want to put them as no interest because they haven't come up in Yummy Jobs. And then actually that makes it look like I am only interested in certain roles and don't want to bother with others. Um, but it's interesting that they're all on there. Um, so we'll see if maybe that might be something that we end up getting offered once we have the interviews. Hello, I always find it really strange that it feels like it's been ages since I've updated this, but for you it's literally a couple of seconds later. Um, it's the 28th of November now, interviews are just about a week away, and we've received an email from Yummy Jobs today just giving us a little update on the information, making sure we know everything, um, so it's basically just telling us to check the address that we're going to it's also said like I predicted the talk at the beginning is about an hour but what I didn't realize is that they want us to leave until our interview slot so we go off and then 20 minutes before our interview slot we come back and we're there for either the whole hour if that's how long it takes to get to our slot in the running order or you know you might be done one of the first ones and then out straight away um but that's just a bit of new information that I didn't realize it would work like that that we'd kind of be told to leave and then come back um and also I will show you what docs looks like because I realized I never actually did a little clip to show you what docs is so you're prompted to make an account on docs which is Disney onboarding central and then there's only four things you need to complete so your address information pretty straightforward just your address the proof of student status form we were sent this by I believe it was Yummy Jobs who actually sent us the form and then you need to get it completed by your university and they have to stamp it, um, which is basically to make sure that you are actually eligible for the programme. A copy of your passport and then the candidate information form is basically just your personal details in there so that they can, you know, check that you are who you are. Um, I don't actually know if we need to bring any of this stuff to the interview. I might email Yummy Jobs just to be like, do we need our passport and proof of status form because... I've seen in other people's videos from previous years that they did bring them, but we haven't been told to in that email I was just telling you about, so I'm not entirely sure. So it is the 7th of December, and my interview is tomorrow on the 8th, on the Friday. Um, I've just popped my hair into plaits because I want it to be like a little bit wavy for the interview tomorrow. Um, but the interviews in London did start yesterday on the 6th, so I thought I would do a little update with everything that everyone in the group chats has said, so that I don't have to remember to say everything tomorrow. Um, so the presentation, you get there at 8.30, the presentation is at 9 and it's about an hour. The new information that they said in the presentation is, the big one is that we're probably going to find out before Christmas, which is super exciting. And also the roles are, let me try and remember this. So the roles that we already knew that we definitely could get were merchandise, attractions, custodial, food and beverage and lifeguard. And they have announced in the presentation that we can also get character attendant, CETA and photo pass, but for photo pass you do have to have kind of credible experience with photography. So these roles do change year on year, so it's definitely something that if you are looking to do the programme, you should find out in your own year, because again, they change all the time, but we have been offered those roles for this year. Everyone said that the interviews are just a really nice casual chat. There was a big conversation last night about whether you need to have a printed CV, um, Someone said that they were kind of picked up on the fact that they had one and it was seen as a good thing, but everyone else who didn't bring one said that they weren't, it wasn't mentioned that like it was bad that they didn't have one. Um, and I did email Yummy Jobs asking about whether we need any documentation and they said no, not even passports. Um, although, again, someone in the group chat said maybe have it because they do ask for exactly when it expires. So if you don't know that off the top of your head, then it's probably a good thing to have it. Um, but yeah. I think that's everything I pretty much need to go over um, because, yeah, tomorrow is the actual interview day. So anything that comes up that either I didn't know already or I forgot to mention here, I will just mention tomorrow. But I'm super excited. I think everyone seems to be having very positive experiences. The questions apparently are more just about like the roles that you want, what your preferences are and how your experience can link into that. It doesn't seem to be such an assessment of like whether you're the right person for the programme, it's more just about where to fit you into the programme, 
so that's quite a good sign and hearing before Christmas basically gives us a couple of weeks to find out so it could be very very soon. Hello, it is the 8th of December, it is the morning of my final interview. It's currently 5.54 in the morning. Um, I've got to go to the train station and yeah, go into London. Um, I'll just show you what I'm wearing for the interview. So I am wearing the same blouse I wore for my pre-screen and then just wearing it with this skirt and then tights. I considered wearing like a turtleneck and some trousers, the trousers they did not suit me at all and then the turtleneck I was just like, I think this is a bit smarter, um, the skirt's a bit loose on me but I think I think I can pull it together, I think it looks right. I'm going to go and have some breakfast quickly and then get on the train and I will see you in London. Okay I just arrived at Hammersmith and I'm walking to the McDonald's because a couple of the girls and guys are all meeting there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just meet up, have a little chat, and then head over to HQ together. <laughs> oh, my hair is going crazy. Um, but I'm just leaving Disney HQ. I'll do a full update when I get home and it's not as busy and outside, but I think it went all right. I think it was about 15 minutes, but it's hard to know because I wasn't checking my phone before or immediately after I came out, so I don't actually know what time I went in and out of the interview. <laughs> okay, I am back from my interview. I pretty much just went straight home afterwards because I didn't have any plans, um, but I'm gonna debrief everything now. So I'll start with the presentation. Uh, I got there, they'd said to get there around half eight. I think I got there around probably around half eight I think um lots of people were already there lots of people came after us so I think that was like a good time to come we went upstairs I think around like just before 10 to 9 so I'd say get there before that like the half eight idea is probably the best one to just get there at that time um the talk then started pretty promptly on nine. We were given the chance to take photos in the room. There were some stormtroopers and an Elsa statue. And the room with the presentation in was also the room for the interviews. There were four tables in each corner. So we were told that if we missed our chance at the beginning of the presentation to get our photos with those bits, we weren't going to get another chance later on because obviously interviews were going to be going on where those statues were. Um, and then, yeah, it started pretty much bang on nine. I think it was like 9.01 and then finished... I want to say around like quarter past or 20 past 10 so it was about an hour and a quarter an hour and 20 minutes um it was pretty much everything I already knew it went through what roles there were um unfortunately obviously I'd said in the clip that you would have seen the other day um well a few minutes ago for you but um the fact that character attendant is available to us um we were told that actually all the spaces had now been filled so they must be doing it first come first serve which i was slightly disappointed about because character attendant was one that i was really planning on pushing for but it just is something maybe to keep in mind for future years to go for an earlier day if there's like a really specific and rarer role that you want but i didn't realize they were going to be doing it like that so um yeah they seem to be actually like allocating roles as they go along um trying to think if there was anything else that's like knew that you might not find out online they said that actually they talked a bit about traditions and training and like all of the stuff that you have to sign on to to be able to work at disney and then when they were talking about traditions they said that actually unlike previous years where like after traditions it's the first time you can get your park entry and your park passes they're now just giving it to you like as soon as you move in so that's a new thing that we'll potentially be able to go to parks in our first week on the program which is very cool um but also I was wondering if it maybe like takes away from the specialness of traditions, but she was pointing out that like the first week is the most time, the most free time that everyone will have and especially everyone will have together on the programme. So I think it's actually quite a good thing that we'll get that week to basically just go and play in the parks and check out our locations and stuff. Um, so yeah, presentation was over. The groups who had the slots at 10.30 to 11.30 and 11.30 to 12.30 were told to stay. And then everyone else, which included me, because my slot was at one, uh, had to leave. So I went with a couple of the others to McDonald's, which is in Hammersmith. Again, it was where we met at the beginning of the day. And then we just hung out there um, 
until it was our interview time. We were told to get back at about quarter to one and we got there at about 22 and then we had to wait until around quarter to or like 10 to and then we were all taken upstairs and we all waited in a boardroom essentially um, with a big table. It was nice because we were all just chatting to each other um, and then the interviewers came in one by one or like sometimes a couple of them at a time and basically just said like who would like to go next and you could just put your hand up and or stand up and go for your interview they were they were all really lovely um three of them were like managers in Epcot and then one of them who did the presentation was like the senior recruiter for Disney and national programs so that was pretty cool um and then yeah the interview itself as I was saying in the little clip I filmed as I was leaving uh it was about 15 minutes I think like I genuinely don't know but it felt like it was a while and the times seemed to really vary some of the people had like five minute interviews and some of them were like 10 minutes some of them were 15 so I don't think the time of it really plays a part I wouldn't have thought um but as we left the boardroom where she kind of came in and like picked me up to go off for the interview uh, I shook her hand, I said my name and then we had a little conversation about names because she was saying that like her mum's called Catherine and then we were talking about nicknames and spellings and Princess Kate and all of this stuff but it was really nice to just have something like random to talk about as we went in and then she asked me a few like admin questions sorry I'm like fidgeting around she asked me a few admin questions basically like you know am I doing the correct type of degree to be able to do this program am I what else did she ask am I uh eligible with my passport like is it going to expire have I worked in the US before so I just answered those and then she said tell me a bit about yourself oh I had Colleen by the way if anyone has her in future years she said say a bit about yourself um your course your motivations for doing the program so I just talked about that for a bit and then we talked about my experience and she asked me to go like through some of my jobs on my CV and then that kind of led into roles and then it was basically any questions like it I think we were just chatting so much that it kind of just filled all the time because I had a lot to say so I was just talking a lot um at one point when we were talking about roles she was like oh I could really like see a role for you so I'm taking that as a positive um but honestly it was quite like neutral like she was so lovely very smiley very friendly it's just hard to read and I don't want to go in like come out of it being like she said this this means I'm in because I don't want to like convince myself um but yeah we might find out in a couple of weeks anyway and yeah it was such a nice day like we got to take photos with some of the little Disney bits around and it was just so nice like meeting some of the people that I've been speaking to online for months and have never met in person. It was just like, yeah, it was a really good day, really nice experience. It was over, I'd say I waited about like, I wanna say like half an hour, 35 minutes into my slot to have my interview. And then obviously it was like towards the end of my slot when I came out and then you have to be escorted everywhere in the Disney building. So once we came out of our interviews, we were waiting with everyone else and the people from the next slot in order to actually get someone to take us down to reception because you weren't allowed to go anywhere on your own. Um, but that was quite nice because we got to have a little debrief and like once everyone had come out and was less stressed we were kind of like laughing and chatting and going through what people had been told in their interviews so yeah it was really lovely I can see that I've recorded for a very long time and a lot of this is probably I don't know if you care but um if you do have any questions about it feel free to message me or leave a comment um and yeah I'll get back to you hopefully when I find out whether I've got in or not it's the 11th of December now, a Monday. I meant to update yesterday because we got an email yesterday and today, but I didn't get time yesterday, so I'm just gonna do both in one. So on the 10th, which was a Sunday, everyone freaked out because we got an email from Disney and it was worded in a way that was very much like, thanks for coming, but we've decided not to take you ahead. It wasn't that at all though, it was just a thanks for coming, wait while we process your information, basically just telling us to be patient. Um, but a lot of people were quite worried by it. And then today we got one from Yummy Jobs, again, just saying like, thank you for coming to the interview. Uh, we'll try and get through everything, or Disney will try and get through everything as soon as they can. And that we'd find out by early January. So again, the dates that we're finding out are very unclear. There's been Edinburgh interviews today and people have been saying there that it might be the end of next week. So I really don't know, but I'm expecting it to be January. So then I don't get too disappointed if I don't find out in the next week or two. I look like a mess, I've just taken my hair out of a towel. It is the 4th of January, Thursday the 4th of January, and someone in the main big group chat has just 
got an email. I've just seen <laughs> one of my closest friends has just got their email and got in. I'm gonna check mine. I'm really, really scared. Oh, I haven't got anything yet. I don't know if it would have gone to like spam or anything, but. They've always come through to the main thing. I'm like refreshing like crazy. I've literally got goosebumps. <laughs> this is so scary. I mean, there's loads of people who haven't heard yet, but. No, because it like Steph's surname is right at the end of the alphabet, so I don't think it's like alphabetical. Maybe. Although people have got lots of different things. Yeah, I feel like it's just completely random. <laughs> no, nothing still. <laughs> Oh, this is really scary. I hate this. But there's loads of other people in the same boat as me, so. Because I'm also like, I'm checking my application. I'm checking on the like onboarding website. I'm checking everywhere. This is so horrible. But if you are applying in another year, then just be reassured this is you are not alone in how stressed you might be if you don't get emails straight away. <laughs> oh, still waiting. I'm going to do my last check for a little bit and then carry on doing my work, I think. Oh my god, my, dash, my dashboard says you've received an offer. I got in! Yay! Oh my god! I got custodial! I didn't, it came off of my dashboard, it didn't come off of my email. Oh no, I've got the email now as well. <laughs> Where does it say custodial? It on, my, on my offer it says there. <laughs> High level of guest interaction. That was one of my top options. Extensive cleaning. Woo! Cleaning <laughs> restrooms and toilets. Working chemicals. <sighs> or spa. Sweeping and mopping. You I got a, onto the programme. You are a cleaner. <laughs> Disney cleaner. <laughs> it was one of my top choices. Oh, though it's because I was looking at this like, oh, just gonna do one more check before I close my laptop, go and do work, and then it just came up on the thing. I need to tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to America this summer. Oh, that's not sunk in properly yet. <laughs> okay, it's been like 30 minutes. 45 minutes since I received my offer. I literally slammed my laptop lid closed. Um, you might have heard I got custodial. Um, so I haven't even accepted it yet. Um, but basically the letter on dashboard came through first and then the email had come through as well. So um, yeah, I'm doing custodial. We don't find out our location until like a couple of weeks before we fly. Um, so yeah, it's just going through like everything. I'm gonna have to read this through and then accept my offer. I feel like I'm still shaking, trying to read through all of this information, but it's basically just summarising the visa policy, insurance policy, background check policy, immigration information, and then just like signing off that you agree that you're going to have like a drug test and physical tests. And I don't know if this is slightly different for other roles, um, but yeah, it's basically just about the job, all the like official stuff. And then at the bottom, you get to choose whether you accept the offer and obviously I'm going to be saying yes. So it's been about an hour since I accepted, oh my god, I still can't believe I've done that, accepted my um, offer for the programme and then I've now been emailed a link to log into dorms, which is Disney on-site resident management system, I'm reading that off the screen, and I'll get a login to there and I basically just have to pay for the programme through that. So. Um, 
yeah, that's literally the next steps. And it's just, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I couldn't actually log into dorms. I got a code 103, which I've just looked up on the dorm system. And it basically says that, um, I think what it will be, because I definitely typed it in right, was, is that, um, they haven't like updated my sort of invitation to be in dorms yet. So it's quite a bit later and for some reason I still can't get into dorms. So I think I'm going to try again tomorrow. But I thought I'd just update because there was an interesting, what's the word, an interesting development um, with people who put PhotoPass as like their top choice. They got an email saying, and this was a while after we all got ours, like a good like three hours or something. Um and they were all blessed and they were waiting for their emails and just seeing what was happening they got an email basically saying that you know the rest of the emails have gone out we're just waiting to check if photopass is available for the program but basically that makes it seem like they have got on but they just can't guarantee them photopass yet so they're waiting to find out the role but that's hopefully a bit relieving for them and yeah if that does happen to you in the future then maybe that's why so I finally managed to get through to dorms. They sent me a link to reset my password and you have to open it in like a private browser, like incognito or you clear all your browsing history. And then there's also loads and loads of requirements that you have to adhere to when making the new password. So it's very secure, but I'm in and I have two options, which is program acceptance and activities home. So I think I'm going to click on program acceptance and see what that does. Probably makes me pay for my program. <laughs> Well, that was all pretty simple. I've paid it, I've confirmed when I'm arriving and departing, and yeah, I am officially on the programme. Right, after completing all that, there are more emails. So there's one about medical insurance and one about like my pre-arrival steps. I think I might look at those in the morning because I'm getting very tired. It is half past 11 and I think I've just been so like, it hasn't even properly sunk in that I'm on the programme, but I'm so, so grateful for this opportunity. I just feel incredibly lucky and I'm just really looking forward to you guys being able to follow along with me. Um, but the next stuff that I'm going to do is probably going to be very boring. If anyone has any questions about it, please just let me know. I have an Instagram, TikTok. Let me know in the comments down below, whatever you want. But um, yeah, there's just so much stuff like constantly coming right now. So unless there's anything like major, then I think this is about all you need to know about my whole application process. And I'm just very happy that it turned into an acceptance process. So I pretty much summarised it all in that last clip you saw just there, but I'll just reiterate, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got this far and watched the whole thing, well done. I know that it's been super long, but I hope it has had a lot of useful information. And yeah, if you want to subscribe to carry on watching along with my journey, I will be vlogging while I'm out there. That's a little while away now, but hopefully I'll make some more content about the programme in between then and now. Now and then. Um, <laughs> and... I also have an Instagram and a TikTok if you want to go and give those a little look um, because I'm putting some fun stuff on there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching and have a magical day.